In this video, I'm going to share my top 10 VS Code extensions for Vue.js developers. If you're new here, my name's Danny. I'm an indie app developer and creator of Fudget. If you want to learn about Vue.js, web development, cross-platform apps, and all that good stuff, click subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss anything. Let's get started with my top 10 VS Code extensions in alphabetical order. Uh, number one is auto close tag. So normally when we type out a tag, such as a div, we need to type the opening tag and the closing tag as well. But with the auto close tag extension enabled, we only need to type out the opening tag like this. And it'll automatically add the closing tag. And this even works if we add attributes to the opening tag, such as IDs and classes as well. And the great thing for Vue.js developers is that it even works with custom tag names. So let's say we have a component called my badass component. Then it will even complete this tag for us. However, if we use a self-closing tag, my other component, then it won't add the closing tag for us. And to get this extension, just go to view and extensions and then search for auto close tag and you can find that here. Number two is duplicate action. So as a Vue.js developer, you often want to duplicate files, especially components. Um, by default in VS Code, we have to right click the file, click on copy, then right click the folder, click on paste, then right click the file and rename it. But with the duplicate action extension enabled, when we right click a file or folder, we see this new option, duplicate file or directory. We can just click on that, enter the new name for the file, hit enter, and we're done. And this also works for folders as well. And to get this extension, just go to view, extensions, search for duplicate action. And you can find that there. Number three is Emmet. Now VS Code comes with Emmet by default, so we don't need to install it and Emmet allows us to very quickly add HTML and CSS to our documents. So let's say we want to add an element, we want to add a div, then all we need to do is type the name of the element div and hit tab and it'll add that element for us. And we can also add IDs and classes, so we can just type in div and then dot to add a class and then hash to add an ID, hit tab and it'll create that element with those attributes. Um, we can also use it to add nested elements by using a right angle bracket. So let's say we want a div with a span inside it. We just do div, right angle bracket, and then span, hit tab, and it'll add both of those components. And um, we can also add multiple child components. So let's say we want a UL with a bunch of LIs inside. We can do UL, angle bracket, LI, asterisk, and then three. And by the way, sometimes the Emmet suggestion box doesn't appear. If that's the case, then just press Control and Space and it'll pop up and then you can just hit Enter to create all of those elements. And we can also tab through these elements as well and fill in the content. And we can also use Emmet for CSS. So let's say we want to add a margin right property. We can just type in MR, hit Tab and it'll add that for us. And we can even specify the value so if we want to set a margin right of 10, we can just type in MR10. And in this case, we need to hit control space. Then we can just hit enter and add that property. And we can use this for all sorts of stuff, such as DB for display block or DF for display flex. And if you want to learn all of the available shortcuts, then you just want to go to docs.emit.io and you can find all of the shortcuts here. Number four is highlight matching tag. So when you have a lot of markup, it can be sometimes hard to find your closing tag to the opening tag that you're looking at and vice versa. But with the highlight matching tag extension, we can just click on the opening tag and we can see the closing tag underlined. And it will also highlight the opening and closing tag in the code tree over here as well. And you can tweak the styles as well to make this a little bit more prominent if you want to. And it also has a couple of handy commands. So if we just click on the opening tag, press command shift and P to open up the command palette, type in highlight. Then we have these two commands so we can jump to the matching tag and it'll jump us straight down there. 
and we also have this select contents of matching tag pair command which will select everything inside those tags so you can then just delete it and put something else in there and to get this extension just go to view extensions search for highlight matching tag and you can find that there extension number five is incrementer and incrementer allows us to really quickly increment or decrement numbers so once this extension is installed we can just place our cursor on a number such as this padding value hold down control and press up or down to increase or decrease that value or if you want to go up or down in tens we can hold down control shift press up or down to go up and down in tens or if you want to go up and down in decimals then we can just hold control shift and alt press up or down like that now bear in mind i'm on a mac here so some of these keyboard shortcuts might be different on windows and we can also use it to toggle between values such as true and false so if i scroll down to my script section here i have a boolean property here if i hold down control i can just press up or down to toggle between true or false and we can even create our own custom toggles with incrementer so if i just go to the extension page and go to settings and extension settings and we have this option here enums values a group of arrays each containing a list of enums to cycle through then if we click on edit in settings.json then we have this bunch of arrays here and we can add our own custom arrays so let's say for the display css property we want to toggle between block inline block and flex then we can just add an array here and then add block and inline dash block and flex and if we save that now and jump back to this file and this display property i can now hold down control and toggle between all of those values and to get this extension again just get to the extensions page and search for incrementer and you should be able to find that there if you found this video useful so far smash the like button and leave a comment tell me your favorite vs code extensions for vue.js development Number six is insert numbers and insert numbers allows us to quickly insert a load of consecutive numbers. So let's say we have an array of items like this and each one has an ID property and we want these IDs to be unique. And so we want to just set these to consecutive numbers starting from one. Well, it would take us a while to do this manually one by one, but with the insert numbers extension, we can just make a multiple selection on all of these numbers by holding down command and pressing D until we've selected them all. And then we can just either fire the insert numbers command or use the keyboard shortcut and it'll insert consecutive numbers for us. And to get this extension, just search for insert numbers in the extensions page. And you can find that there. And by default, this extension will start the numbers at zero. And if you want it to start the numbers at one, then just go to your settings.json page and you want to add this insert num.start property and set that to one. Number seven is the material icon theme. And icon themes just apply to all of these icons you see in the Explorer and the icons you see in these tabs at the top as well. And by default, VS Code uses the SETI theme, which is pretty nice. However, these view icons don't really look like the view logo and we don't have nice icons for our folders. We just have this little chevron symbol. But if I enable the material icon theme by going to preferences and file icon theme and choosing material icon theme, then we have this beautiful theme with loads of nice icons. We have a view icon, which actually looks like the view logo. And we have all of these customized folder icons for all of our different kinds of folders, such as node modules and public, source, assets, components, etc. And to get this extension, again, just go to view and extensions and search for material icon theme. And you can find that there. Number eight is split HTML attributes. So in Vue.js projects, we often have lots of different attributes and directives and props and event handlers, etc., on our elements and components. And if we're using a component library such as Vuetify or Bootstrap View or Quasar, then we can end up with tons of attributes such as flat, round, disabled, etc., and these can go on and on. So we often want to split these attributes up onto multiple lines. And I got sick and tired of having to do this manually all of the time. 
which is really painful and time consuming. So I created the split HTML attributes extension to solve this problem. So all we need to do is select the opening tag. And it's important to note that we only need to select the opening tag, or if it's a self-closing tag, then we can just select the whole tag. And we can either just fire the split HTML attributes command, or we can use the keyboard shortcut and it will split these up onto multiple lines. And it'll also put them back into a single line as well. And we can just easily toggle back and forth. And it also works on multiple selections. So if I select this input tag and then this opening div tag with a multiple selection by holding down the Alt key and then fire the extension, then it will split them both up at the same time. And to get this extension, just search for split HTML attributes in the extensions page and you can find that there. And with this extension, you can also specify the sort order for your directives and props, etc. And so for Vue.js development, I'd recommend changing the default settings. So if you just go to the extension page and then settings, extension settings, then we have this sort order option where we can specify an array with a bunch of strings or regular expressions to tell the extension how to order these attributes. So we can just click on edit in settings.json and we can paste an array here. And if you go back to the extension page and scroll down, we have an example array here. So you just wanna copy the items inside this array, jump back to settings.json, and paste those items here inside this split HTML attributes dot sort order. And you might also want to change another option. If I jump back to the options. You might wanna tick this closing bracket or new line option as well. And this will place your closing angle bracket on a new line like this, instead of up here like that. Number nine is to do tree. And to do tree allows us to add to do's to our code, which will appear in this little to do tree panel here, which we can use to jump back to our to do's at any point in the future. And um, we can add these to do's to our HTML, to our JavaScript, and to our CSS as well. And all we need to do is create a comment with to do in capital letters and a colon, and then we can just give it a name. So prove this later and let's add one to our JavaScript as well. So I'll just add to do fix this computed property. And if we look in this little to do panel, we can see our to do's here and we can see our little labels and we can just click on these to jump back to them. So even if we're in a completely different file, we can click on one of these to do's and it'll take us to the right file at the right place. And we can also add other labels besides to do such as fix me, fix this thing and bug as well. This be a bug. Now we can see all of these different types of to do's categorized in this little window. And if you go into the extension settings, you can even create your own labels as well. And to install this extension, just go to the extensions page and search for to do tree. And you can find that there. Number 10 is Vita. So by default, our view components look like this, which ain't pretty. But with the Vita extension enabled, we get beautiful syntax highlighting for all of our view components. And it also has some incredible snippets. So if I just select all of this and delete it, and just type in left angle bracket and view, then we have this view with default snippet. If we fire that, it'll scaffold an entire view component for us. And we can also, for example, scaffold a style tag with a specific language. So if I just type in left angle bracket and style, and let's say I want to add style with SCSS, I can choose this one, and it'll scaffold that style block for us. And it also has some handy error checking built in. So let's say I want to spit out all these items using a V4. So I'll add a div, and I'll add a V4 directive, and I'll add item in items. Then we see red squiggly lines here and we see our error elements in iteration expect to have key directives. Then if we add that key directive in, set that to item.id, then the error disappears. And it also adds tons of view directives and event handlers to our IntelliSense as well. So if I just start typing v dash, then we can see all these different view directives. Uh, we can just paste those in and it also has 
event handlers as well. So if I just type in app, then we can see click, drag, drag end, and all that stuff as well. Now Vita does quite a lot of stuff, so I'd recommend checking out the website if you want to learn more. And you just want to go to vuejs.github.io slash Vita. And you can find loads more information here. And to get this extension, just search for Vita in the extensions page, and you can find that there. Okay, it's time for our bonus extension. And this extension doesn't really help with Vue.js development, but if you like this color theme that I'm using here, this is the Make Apps theme, which is a nice, easy on the eyes color theme without too many crazy colors. And to install this theme, and you just want to search for Make Apps theme, and you can find that there. And I know you love Vue.js, so why don't you check out one of my Vue.js videos above. Also, please consider hovering over my face and subscribing. Every subscription helps me to create more content for this channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.